Okay, we're just kind of chilling. There's many chilling. We're sitting at a table. Our fire's about dying out. We got the table cleared off. Both tables cleared off, except for our water jug right there. We got it still. We hung our packs up on the tree and we put a black trash bag on them in case it rains. But I got all my packs hung up there. Not all of them. We got the Bivvies ready, and uh, when you shine lights on them, those those strings uh, reflect that they're ready. Like I said, the table's cleared off except for the flashlight. So, first off, one recording. Oh, now record. She forgot to push the record button, so I got to do all this all over again. So we got everything cleaned up. We got our book bags hung up, our backpacks hung up on the tree. I got our food hung up. We have all the tree stumps painted orange so you, when you walk in the trail you don't trip over them. So that's kind of nice. Except for that one right over there by that picnic table gets me every time. Mm -hmm. And now uh, you can see the cords all lit up on the bivvies. Ain't that cool? Anyway, there you go. Life goes on. In the life and times. Sammy and Pappy. Oh, okay. Start that one again. I'll have to edit that part out. Sand. Alright, well there's Pappy. He's getting in his bed. He's got in his bed. Let me see if I can't get. Go sleep underneath the tarp or the rain fly. All right. Well, we'll see how long this lasts. But I'm I'm almost like many. Dang, I might have to go sleep on top of the picnic table. <laughs> All right. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, there's where many slept last night, right outside the tent of the bivvy. No, that was this morning. Oh, this morning. Okay. There's a mini. Time to get the coffee out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, good morning. Hello. It's time for us to, I guess, wake up. Pappy's ready to wake up. Minnie's already been up and about. We got some walkers already coming on the trail. So I guess it's time to... Okay, so for breakfast he's getting the fire going. And we're going to have some coffee. Uh, this morning, it looks like we're going to have caramel. 
mocha that we're having for our breakfast. That's our caramel, caramel mocha coffee. I have brought in my little resealable, reusable um, plastic thing. This is my egg mixture. I already made it home with my cinnamon and everything. All my flavors and seasoning is all in there with my flavor milk. And it did seal up really good and it wasn't leaking, so that's a good thing. And then I just brought the cinnamon raisin bread for my bread. And then, of course, I got my butter in another one of these little um, jar of containers. These stack in your cooler really easy. I, I, I kind of like them. They do set up, so I can set that one up like that if I want to. But I'm going to make French toast, so let's get started. And, of course, you can't have French toast without your syrup and butter, so I brought some two syrups and butter, too. You just pick these up at your local restaurants and I save them. There's that. So there's what we're going to have for breakfast. Pappy's got the fire going. And we're going to got our water kettle going. So we're going to get that started as soon as I get my thing going. So we got our backpacks hung on the tree. We got a good fire going, getting some coffee, getting ready. Pappy's ready for his coffee this morning. We had chairs set up last night and sat around the campfire. It was really nice. Got a little bit of a clothesline hung up. I won't show the whole clothesline because <laughs> it's got clothes on it. <laughs> Over here we had our little bivvies. Minnie ended up sleeping out on that blanket out. She would not go in. She went in for a split second and she's like, no, too tight. So she came outside and slept right out to the end of the bivvies. We had a mm -hmm. rain fly on it. And this is a really nice um, campsite. It's got our firewood over there and it's got a rain barrel as well. And underneath that um, bucket, there's a rock or, or a brick on top. I actually put my trash under there so that kept the animals out of it and I didn't have no problem so and we hung our food up so that was good so I got breakfast table set and this is what we're having for breakfast I'm gonna let that coal get down just a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna cook breakfast he's gonna show that so for to do the coffee we put a clean um, handkerchief so that he can use it as a filter and he's going to try to make our coffee that way so we don't have grinds in our coffee And this is what it looks like after we did that. So that uh, it turned out pretty good. And then you add that other cup to it, or that other thing. Yeah, that's creamer. Cream sugar. So we just put the coffee right in there. the hot water
once the coffee goes down. We take the part two of the thing. And that's your cream and sugar. And your spoons are there, okay? And then that makes our coffee. Mmm, it smells good. Mmm, it smells real good. So once this is done, pulls it up. And then all your coffee grains are in there and coffee with no grains. We're 99% out anyway. Okay. Okay. And then he adds his cream and sugar to his or mine, whichever. I'm not sure whose is whose. Mm -hmm. oh, it does smell good, let me tell you. That's a good smell to it. You smell that caramel. Reminds me of like, almost like that caramel popcorn or something. It smells good. Okay, there's coffee. We're going to make French toast. I'm going to get my... Okay. I'm going to take my butter. Wouldn't that work better if you buttered the pan? And put in my pan. Mm -hmm. Coming under the heat. I'm going to take my butter and put it in the pan here. Yellow jacket. <laughs> Supersized one. They oh. do have some supersized bugs here. I mean, there was a beetle here that was as big as freaking toe, big toe. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put a lot of butter in here because I know it's going to have it. So, and I have this plastic bag, so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to put my mixture in there. I'm going to set my toast on this one right here. Give this a shake up because all my seasonings and stuff is in there. I thought you were going to put your batter in that pan. <laughs> I'm going to put my batter in this bag here. And then I can put my French toast one at a time. And kind of put it in there. Give it a slop a minute. Whip it. Whip it. And it's ready to go in the pan. And that's how I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to fry it over here. Don't forget your spatula. Probably your nerves. And one of them little embers off the fire. Okay, I got my fire going here. We're gonna have some French toast. It's definitely got my pan butter melting already, so that's good. And then as I flip him, he'll have to bring me the other pan to put your French toast in. This is how we're going to make some French toast. Oh yeah. I'm going to have to flip that one more time. But you can hear it sizzling. And that's going to be breakfast. Let's look at the coals that go on this side. I 
got to be more patient. i got to wait a minute. I'm trying to get them before they burn, but... Okay, so while that one's doing it, you get two butters. I mean, you're going to need butter in your pan for every one. Uh-huh. Two and a syrup, and I get two butters and a syrup. Something is, like, biting me right there. It's even turning red. I don't know what that is. Oh, right. So now it's perfect. There it's looking good. That's perfect. French toast there. And I am going to put butter in each time. There's breakfast. Looks good. I'm going to pull this over until I get my butter on it again. And we'll do it again. And this is how our French toast is turning out. It's turning out really good. So this is my breakfast. I've got my French toast. I've got my coffee. I'm going to put my butter on there. And I had a little bit of egg left over, so what I'm going to do is just scramble it up for Minnie. Minnie gets the leftover egg. Charging my phone off my electric vest. And everything's pretty well cleaned up that we brought. We got our trash bag hanging still, but mom ain't got her stuff together. My walking stick. And that's about the way we found it, other than a little cleaner, other than it's got a worm in there now. And I think we're done here. That's all. Water running down on my eyes again. It is humid. It ain't hot, it's just humid. Watch out for that spider web on your way out. I see it. <laughs> Pocket. Go first. Watch out for the cobweb. For me. Maybe. So if you turn it around, then we'll just back this one out the one. Yep, that means you didn't get me. We'll pass it on later. Here we are, leaving camp. This is a pretty clear water. We could have tested that water. We was going to, but we ran out of time. But that's a nice little stream going through there. 
it just has a little bit going across the path. But for that little trickle that's going to path across the path, sure is putting into a nice little little water there. It's cool. Manny's leading the way. We're at. Oh. Well, either we packed the bees up or they left us alone. I'm not sure they quit on us after a while. Okay, let's do a switch. Take the dog. Glasses are all wet. Well, she was nice to you. She always drags me through the trees. You do have your truck keys, right? Your truck keys. Well, just want to make sure you didn't leave them back here. People I know, they don't want backpacking. So we gotta take four backpacks. It's ridiculous. Enjoy your day. Thanks. It'll make you sweat.
<laughs> Copperhead. Oh, all right. Have a wonderful day. Well, he's doing a good job of blending in. I don't see him. I really scared him off. I swear we felt an earthquake this morning. It was a minor one, but I ain't never was in a tent when that hit. That was kind of strange. Just to keep it on record. So you seen that copperhead? No, I didn't. <laughs> Did you get the picture of it? No.